sorry about that. Uh, this one I will cut for the doilies and they'll be used for flowers um, and probably this one too. Um, this one is like, actually Graham found this, this looks like it's stunning, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's actually like a little bag let me show you, so it opens and I'm not sure, it's got this one's still got a tag on, so um, it's got the sort of flap that goes over it so for me it's either um, a night dress case or a little pillow case I'm not sure. I, th I think more a nightdress case. I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like to me. So it's like a bag. So this will not get cut. This will... I'll probably look for a little cushion that will fit into this because it is so beautiful. Really, really gorgeous and so unusual. Um, so that will stay as it is for sure. <laughs> but it is really beautiful. So Graham actually found that in one of the charity shops he was in and I was so impressed with, <laughs> with it when he showed me it. Okay, so this one I thought was unusual too. I haven't quite seen one like this. And there's a second one, but I've already started cutting it for the doilies. So they're like, I'm not sure which way up it goes, so there's that, that's one side, hang on, that way, or there's a smoother side that way, so I'm really not sure which way up this goes, but it's full of flowers, and I thought that is so unusual, it's such a different shape to anything I've seen here before. So I've got that one, well there was two but I've started cutting one and using it already. Um, I've got a tablecloth, a beautiful tablecloth, I won't open it all out, this will go on a table and it's got the embroidery on the linen. Um, it's a good size and beautiful lace with bows on the edges, so, oh no it's a butterfly, sorry. A butterfly. So that will go on a table. So I got more big linens than, than smaller ones and then there was just a bundle of armchair covers you know that go over the back of the sofas and they all have beautiful lace on and then obviously beautiful linen. Um, so there was four of the cream, dark cream, and then there's this two of this one, and then there's some um, napkins, three napkins, beautiful linen napkins with with this, and I probably won't cut these either because um, they are so perfect. <laughs> but it was just unfortunate there was only three of them. <laughs> but I absolutely love those so they will stay intact so that's all the linen I got so not many little doilies but lots of you know bigger pieces which I was thrilled to find because I do love to collect that too <laughs> and lastly I did find some lace I've put it in a little box here I did find some lace um, so I'll quickly show you those some of this the new lace was bought in the fabric store so there's this one I've got a couple of meters of that and a couple of meters of it in pink a dusky pink um, this gorgeous um, braid with the pearls on it I got a meter of that Um, I got a couple of meters of this tiny lace 
because I thought it was so cute. Um, I got some of I forget what you call this um, braiding or fringing the tiny tassels. I thought that would be cute, maybe on a um, doily book or something. So I just I think I just got a meter of that. And then I fell in love with this and it was so it's so soft and so fluffy, I just had to have some. <laughs> uh, and it's a pom-pom trim, but this is the softest pom-pom trim I've ever felt. Um, it is really, really fluffy. Um, so I've got some of that. And I did think actually this would look really cute on the edge of a shelf. Wouldn't it? <laughs> So I've got a couple of, I think I've got two metres of that because I fell in love with it and how soft it was. So that's the new lace. I did find a tiny bundle of um, vintage lace. And it is, you know, antique lace. Or vintage, whatever. Um, so there was this little bundle on this card that I found. And that's the lace. Um, this little bundle on this card, this um, little braiding, which is really cute, and I just bought I bought those separate, and then this the rest of it was in a little bag. Um, this antique lace, which is not in the best condition but I can use it on little bits of it on projects but it is gorgeous but it really isn't in very good condition so I will use this on something but it is beautiful um, three little trims were in that bag um, can't really see them, but they you know, they are little vintage trims. They're only little bits, but they're, you know, these are great projects. A small piece of this, which I love. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you can see how small the piece is, but, you know, I will find a project to use it on. <laughs> Maybe another, um, spool. There's a few pieces of this, which again is very delicate and gorgeous, but I will also find something to use on. <laughs> I think there's two pieces of that. Oh, and a tiny, tiny piece. Um, there's this piece, which again is stunning, but beautiful, beautiful and small. I'd rather have a small piece of something beautiful than not have any. <laughs> so, you know, if I see a little baggie that's got bits and bobs in, I will get it. <laughs> and then there's this tiny... Um, lace. There's a little bit more of that so that will go a little bit further and then the last piece looks like it was made into a collar because it has hooks on this end um, so I, I don't know if somebody took this and made it into the collar because I don't think it would have came like this but it is gorgeous absolutely stunning so I will, that's a little bit bigger that piece, but you know, maybe 12 inches. But I will find a project for it for sure. So that's my tiny little antique lace haul that was in a bag. So, you know, I'm very happy to find little bits like that. And so that's, that's my holiday haul. Um, 
Um, I would definitely go back there just for the charity shops. I'd go back there anyway. I love Brighton and the coast anyway, but I would definitely go back maybe just for a day a day visit to um, go around the charity shops because they're probably the best linens I've ever found in a charity shop. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. It's probably a bit long, sorry. But you know me, I talk away. And um, I'm looking forward to altering those. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will be back with a project very soon. Bye for now.